Today we're gonna hook up this $150,000 Cybertruck to this dump trailer and we're gonna put an excavator in it and tow it. Let's go. Truck is connected, everything looks good. We got all the safety stuff done, let's roll. Oh, look at the rack! Yeah. He did not make it. Professional, what you know about that? This excavator, that trailer. This ain't gonna work, T. We're gonna try. <laughs> I doubt it. We'll see what happens. Is it gonna fit? It always fits. I'm a truck driver. Brandy, look, out of all this, you got your f***ing class A and we don't even have a truck. I know. <laughs> okay. Wow, Tigger does get his hands dirty. Literally. Hands are dirty, man. Oh shit, look at that. That's new. Better, right? Way better. Brandy, you still never been pulled over, right? Not yet. Hopefully never. Well, hopefully when they do pull you over, they're like, son, you're overweight. And then they're like, well, you can suck my <laughs> Class A, son. And we gotta show YouTube I'm actually working. Good. Yeah. Did I miss? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's pretty good. We went in. Oh, I guess Randy's not that good either. <laughs> now it's dangerous. We got her hooked up. We got the excavator loaded in there. All the weight is over the tires. I wanted to make sure that is legit. Now we're going to see if it actually pulls. Let's go. And here we go. Well, I guess I was wrong. Damn. No problem. Good to go. Now to test it at high speed. <laughs> right now, it feels very sturdy. No problems. And we even have this little trailer emoji right here. But the real test is when you are driving a little bit. Because those little creaking sounds, that's just the hitch making noise. So now the name of the game is to go straight. Adios, muchachos. <laughs> That's funny. Somebody knew me. <laughs> I mean, first impression so far, going 20, 25 miles an hour, pretty good. Look at this. So I'm going to have to press the brakes a little bit. But torque wise, no problem. Very sturdy. Seems to be in control. It's just anything new. I'm like, uh, what would fix that little crinking noise is grease on the ball. Because right now metal is rubbing against metal, but it's okay. We weren't that prepared. We just had an idea. The excavator is. 9,000 pounds, trailer is 4,000 pounds, so I'm 2,000 pounds overweight. Cybertruck's only supposed to sell 11,000 11, pounds. Battery's at 57%. I don't know what it was at when we first got here, but just keep that in mind. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed my f***ing turn. Has your opinion on the Cybertruck changed? Oh yeah. What do you think of it now? That's crazy, I can't believe it tows so well. Are you gonna get one? I want to. Never stop, never settle. I got any all in my cup. I'm on top, I'm on a level, yeah. I'm trying to get to the back. Got it on lock, got it on smash, yeah. She trying to holler what's up. I'm with this, this how it is, yeah. When you on your way up. Yeah. I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, yeah. I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, yeah. I'm on my way. Yeah, so this is what the front is doing. It's just bugging out. It thinks that there's a trailer behind me or a truck. It doesn't know what it thinks. So far, it's towing pretty good. Not really a problem. Ride is good. I don't know if I want to go past 55. Let's go to 60, see what happens. Seems like no problems.
My first impression of this truck, I'll be honest with you, I was not impressed. I'm coming from a beautiful Mercedes and the car before I had was a 2020 F350 Limited, top of the top Ford truck, and then I went to this thing. But the more and more time I spent with it, the more and more I started falling in love with it. It's so strong, it's such a statement, and the most important thing, it drives like a car. It is so cool. Success, no problem. I didn't. I didn't go above 60 miles an hour because I was a little sketched out, but I think it was pretty good. Dude, he was making these loud creaks, like, and I was like, ooh, they made it. All right, now let's get it down. <laughs> Professional, what can I say? <laughs> Great offer. Ah! Oh! Okay, now go a little this way. Keep it moving, keep it moving. They're Gucci. Do your knitted bit. Always fits. <laughs> Good That's a good offer. As far as the battery uses, we started with 57 and we drove, um, it was a 20 minute drive. Mm -hmm. I drove a little slow, so it might've been 25 minutes. And we lost not even 10%. So all in all, pretty good. Shout out Cybertruck. Nice job, Elon. Let's go. Okay. At first, I really didn't know what to think of the Cybertruck. Actually, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I didn't like it. I thought this thing was soy boy. I thought it was weak. I thought it made me look like a normal Tesla driver like everyone else. But after I've spent a few days with it, and especially after towing with it, my opinion and my mind has changed. I am absolutely in love with this thing. It is fantastic. Everything about this thing is so cool. The tires are very custom. The rims, and the best part is, I can do that. And that, like this thing's a tank. And a lot of you are gonna be asking me, T, wrap it, make it matte black. Well, here's the thing, little Johnny. If I make it matte black, I won't be able to do that because you have to treat it like a paint job, like a car. You see this one right here, that car right there, which is the wagon. I know a lot of you love the wagon. It's fantastic. I didn't think that I would like the Cybertruck more than the wagon. I was wrong. I love the Cybertruck 10 times more than the wagon. It is so cool. Everything about it, it's ugly, it's rugged, it's rough. I'm actually a truck driver my whole life. So for me to be able to get back into a truck, I feel really good. I'm gonna give you a A plus, Elon. You did a fantastic job. I love this thing and I cannot wait to do more videos on it. The one thing that I don't like is that I don't have auto drive yet. It's not released. I paid 20 grand for auto drive and it's not released crazy. If you stuck around long enough, you probably want to know exactly how much this thing cost. So the base price was 100,000, 99,900 or whatever it is. So hundred grand. And then I paid $20,000 extra for the auto drive, self-driving and the foundation series, which is this right here. It says foundation. And then on the back, if you go over here, you're going to see these three little wolves right there. Those three little wolves represent a tri-motor. This is a tri-motor, that's why it's super fast. 2.8 seconds, 2.6 seconds, faster than this thing. Just kidding, it's not. The Lambo's still faster, <laughs> which is good. But I would put my money on this thing to be more consistent at a 2.7 to 60 than the Lambo, for sure. This thing hooks up, grabs every single time. It's heavy, it's big, it's beefy. So now we're at 120 grand. I paid $10,000 in tax, and then to finance it for six years, five years, it's another 24,000. Now, will I actually finance it for that long? No, I'll probably pay it off before then. But if I were to go the length of time with the whole financing thing, it would be a $150,000 truck. So far, 
This thing has been fantastic at getting attention. Customers come out, they're like, oh my God, look at this, look at this. Can I get a ride? Can I get a picture? So the marketing aspect is really good. One thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it and put Applewood stickers, not wrap. I'm just gonna decal it, put Applewood stickers, a QR code. So when people see me riding around, patrolling, man, trying to catch me riding dirty. And if you wanna see the Cybertruck being used for work, getting beat up, kicked, the rocks thrown at it, towing trailers, going to the dump, mud flying everywhere, messing this thing up, using it for actually what it's meant to be used for. Subscribe and most importantly, comment and let me know what you thought of this video, okay? Later.